This is the unboxing of the M12 two gallon wet dry vacuum. It is item number 0880-20. 0880-20. So this one is, uh, I bought this from Home Depot. I think it was for $120. Um, so it comes with uh, five years warranty. Um, it fits all the M18 batteries and it is two gallons. Um, um, let's see here. It comes with a wet dry vacuum itself, uh, the hose, six feet hose, uh, utility nozzle, and the uh, the other kind of tool and then the HIPAA filter. So um, what's nice about it, it's uh, like a toolbox. So uh, it fits together in a boxy shape in your uh, car or truck with the rest of your tools. And uh, they are claiming here 99.97% efficiency on fine dust collection. Um, so all the tools that comes with, they fit on the top uh, I this wasn't under any special or anything like that but I remember during the uh, holiday season during Christmas they had this plus the additional uh, HIPAA filter uh, for the same price I think they were giving the filter away for an additional filter away for free but I didn't buy it then I didn't have use for it then so um, uh, Airflow 45 CFM uh, suction. Um, it's uh, 813 millimeter um, and uh, filter type obviously uh, is uh, HIPAA. It's uh, again they are claiming 99.97% uh, efficiency. So. Um, uh, The inlet diameter is uh, inch and a quarter, and uh, it weighs uh, 10.3 pounds. So we'll take the measurement with uh, the weigh measurement with the battery and without battery after we open the box. So let's let's open the box and see uh, uh, what's in there. So. Always Milwaukee tools. The first thing is the brochure. So M, M12 and M10 tools. It's nice to basically watch your collection and uh, fill in the gaps. And this is the manual. So they have, uh, yeah, pretty standard. They have the backpack one. Um, and uh, that one uh, is just uh, uh, dry, cannot do wet, obviously. What's nice about this one, it does both. So yeah, again, just like all other Milwaukee tools, right? So it feels, uh, this plastic here is textured and uh, uh, it feels pretty nice. Um, just like other Milwaukee tools, the gaps are nice. The, uh, the quality of the uh, 
product, how it's put together is pretty nice. Um, the gaps and the hinges, all high quality and uh, enforced pretty nicely. So uh, let's open the box. So this is the power button. So obviously it is uh, rubberized. So uh, you can see here, it's nicely rubberized because it's uh, a wet vacuum as well. So yeah, it so opens like these latches open just like any other, most of the toolboxes like that. And uh, here we go. So, this one is connected here, right there, and it has this latch, take it out, very nice. So, um, and then to put it back in, and then you slide the latch again, back to this direction, and uh, it locks it in place very nicely. The hose feels really good. Obviously you could stretch it, so it collapses pretty nicely, and it holds shape. Um, there's one of the tools here. And again, everything, is to measurement. See here, it fits nicely. And then the second tool. Interesting, they put this one in the plastic bag, but they didn't put this one in a plastic bag, so. Okay. So again, they both uh, fit in nicely to measurement. Very well done. And um, so after you open it, the hose goes this way, and uh, this was, has an opening here, and like so. And it's marked here, intake. Nice. So, let's open the bottom side. So there's this latch here. To open the bottom is this latch right here and there is another latch right here in the back so after you open those two you just lift the top portion the red portion up and uh, the filter is right here so let's look at the filter and basically it says unlock it this directional lock it this direction so to unlock it we turn it this direction and it comes out so this will be the wet mode so if you want to use it as a wet vacuum you could use it as such this ball right here it measures the level of the water as you as it builds up when it reaches to the max level it basically changes the way the suction works and then you recognize it's filled up and uh, you use this filter to collect dust and be in compliance with dust collection and uh, it's all sealed obviously all around and uh, yeah right there this should be really nice to empty obviously right so um, um, Seems like a good portable size. I do have other wet dry vacuum, the Riddish brand from Home Depot. And they work super well, they never die. They work for so long, but they are electric powered and I wanted something to be battery powered, so it's portable. So let's see how it works here. So I'm using uh, the XC 5.0 M18 battery. So one thing to note is that uh, this is not uh, the top cover. It doesn't have a seal. However, what they've done is that they've 
created an edge here. They've created this kind of little bit of extra wall here. I'm assuming they created this so that when you latch this all in, because it's not like waterproof, but will stop water from getting into the battery, obviously. So, pretty nice. So, let's try it out. Actually feels pretty good the suction power uh, the air is uh, blows it out of here so the second use of this obviously is a blower so you could take this out from here and latch it and then Lock it in. It's pretty cool. It's actually a nice blowing power here. So let's measure the weight with the battery and without the battery. So let's first run it with the battery. Zero it out. So 11, 13, 11 pound and 13 ounces. Let's take the battery out. So 10.4, so not bad at all. There you have it. So the Milwaukee wet dry two gallon vacuum item number 0880-20 and if you haven't done so already please uh, like and subscribe uh, to help support the channel appreciate your time and uh, thank you